a most happy 2023 new year to you. I can't believe it. Here we are. Year of the Michael Jordan. Um, I don't have a basketball, otherwise there'd be one like on display. Um, you know, I'm from the Chicago area, so I have to, you know, hold in for the Michael Jordan year. Um, I'm just being totally silly right now. Happy Monday to you. So it's technically the second. Um, this will upload as quickly as possible. And I have a really fun blocked workout for us, meaning each block will be of a different modality or a different specificity of work. So our first block will be cardio block. Our second block will be a low body strength block. Third block, upper body strength. And final block will be core. I am using kind of a lot of different pieces of equipment because I figured, man, I haven't used my ankle weights in a while. Man, I haven't used my resistance tubing with handles in a while. So I was like, let's get that stuff out. And then my tried and true yoga mat, as well as a couple sets of dumbbells. I'm using something heavier for the low body. I'm, some, I'm using something a little lighter for the upper body, 12s and 5s to be um, exact. And we shall get things started with a four and a half minute warm up. So go ahead and find your space first. Bring your feet nice and wide apart. Just go ahead and ground down into the toes. Take a look at your stance. Take a look at your knees. Take the arms, reach them up and out. Big inhale. Exhale, give yourself a nice little hug. Rock right and left. I gotta let this cat out. So one more big inhale. Exhale, opposite arm wraps on top. Give yourself a little rock from right to left. And we're gonna make our way over to our playlist. Here you go, bye Poonie. And hit play as a team, okay? So here we go, three, two, one. Hit your play and we are going to warm ourselves up, okay? I don't have my mat out. I don't really need it for the warm up, but if you wanna have a little padding underneath you, feel free to grab it. We're gonna take those arms up and out again. Grab the wrist of the right. Lean to your left. Just look to the right tricep. Come back through the center, and we switch our sides. Big reach. Back through center, elbows, goal posts, draw them together, open out. Good, and all I'm emphasizing here is the squeezing and releasing of the squeeze in the middle of my back. Let's go two more times. One more time. And let's get those legs moving. So sweep the arms up and back, drop into those legs. First workout of the new year for me, I took the day off on a Sunday as I typically do. Last Y reach, and then we're gonna really get those legs moving. So I'm gonna take it back lunge, into a hinge, into a back lunge, and into a hinge. Last one on this side. I go into my hinge, I switch legs. So back lunge on my right, Hinge with my hips even. Two. Let's start to tap into that diaphragmatic breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's move into our cardio. There are jacks in the cardio prescription today. So if you're not a jumper, bring it on down to low impact town. Population us. Couple more seconds here. Three two and one find balance on one foot doesn't matter which foot you're going for take your hands in front of your chest lift your leg and return so trying to keep my balance versus looking at the camera so i'm going to look directly in front of me i'm bringing this leg in like a figure four up and back let's do one more on this foot and then switch. So I'm going to look at my cat tree and I'm going to lift that back leg, squeezing into the seat muscle of my suspended foot. For me, that is the left, but I'm using the right because I'm trying to be aware of how the camera works for everybody. So last one here. Nice. And then back yourself up walk it out into a high plank position so in our plank position take a look at those hands 
Shift your weight over to one side, shift it to the other, come forward and shift back into down dog. We'll do that one more time. So bringing into a plank, shift your weight to one side, keep your hands down, other side, forward and back to down dog. Stay in your downward dog, step your feet a little closer together, do a back kick on one foot, do a back kick on the other. If it's too much, feel free to just lift your leg up. Try to find that three-point balance. Last one, both legs. Really lengthen. And then we're gonna set those knees down. So from there, I'm gonna hydrate the legs out. Our last bit of warm up here. Just feeling the core work. This is three, two, and one. This literally is the last bit of your warm up. Right arm, left leg, and switch. So I'm just finding the erectors of the spine, beginning to work with contralateral balance. Contralateral meaning opposite sides, right and left. Last one, both sides. And we'll finish with a little dynamic cat-cow. I like to move my hips and shoulders a little bit. And then from here, ring out those wrists, because guess what time it is? It's cardio time. Three, excuse me, four movements. Everything is a minute a piece. I thought for some reason in my brain that it was gonna be like 45 seconds, but I'm wrong. So lateral squat hop, alternated sides. Let's go. Squat. Hop. So I'm just kind of picking my feet up and landing gently. Mandy, I'm not jumping today. That's fine. Take a side squat instead of the hop. So see how there's just a little bit of a difference in the impact as you move. Don't worry. Everything has an expiration. I'm doing this with you. Showing this to you from the side. All I'm doing is covering some ground right to left on this little hop, sinking the hips back, keeping my chest pretty tall here. It's all about that heart rate in our first block of work today. You've got just a few more seconds. In our next challenge, we've got a transverse lunge. We'll step to the top of our mat here, top of your mat or top of your space. I go into diagonal lunge, that's my transverse lunge, one jack. Transverse lunge, other side, another jack. What I like about this combo is that it's a little bit of carrot and a little bit of stick, a little hard work mixed with a nice mobilizing lunge. So for what that's worth, if I'm not jumping, I come up, I do two of these. I take that transverse lunge. Look at my top foot. I'm keeping that foot down as I make my transfer of weight happen to that back leg or my travel leg on the lunge. Upper body's doing a little twist. Maybe my arm reaches. It's up to you, three seconds. Whew. Two, and that is time. Oh, I've got a fun one. No feet leaving the floor here. Up, up, low, low, high, high. It's like you've got four people. Two of them are tall to the right and left of you. And two of them are like children to the left and right of you. So you've got a couple of kids right here and a couple of tall people. <laughs> So you're giving them all little high fives. Push, high five, down to your friends, a little closer to gravity, five. Push those hands across, pivot. This is ankle mobility, right? We're working on that. And then of course, coordinating, low, low, high, high. Three seconds to back yourself up. We shuffle forward, touch the floor, feet come together, zigzag, hop back. Do it again. 
Shuffle forward, touch the floor, feet together, zigzag, zigzag hop back. Mandy, I'm not jumping. I walk forward, I touch the floor, I take a little side step back. I walk forward, I touch the floor, I take a little side step diagonally back. That works for me, right? So continuing on the low impact option is here or shuffling, put those feet together, hop it back. Now, say for example, you want more broad jump forward, put those feet together and we'll do our zigzag hop back. That is the time. We made it through round one. My heart rate's up, I feel it. We do it again. Good news, two sets, never again. So, quick review, lateral side hops, side squat hops. We've got one transverse lunge jack, one transverse lunge, high five, low five, and finish with the broad jumper shuffle and zigzag hop back. Timer starts in three, two, and one. Hop it right, hop it left. Right, doesn't matter which side. Right. My chest continues to point to the front. My spine stays long, my neck stays long. So in, in fact, just looking at the camera, you is a little bit of a strain on my neck. So if I turn to my side, all of a sudden, neck in alignment feels so much better for me. And, and then you can also see the profile of what this should feel like, what it should look like. <sighs> Moving to the top of our mat here in five. Okay. Go ahead and meet me at the top. Transverse lunge, maybe I curl that toe. One big jack. I'm adding bigger arms this time. Optional, right? One jack at the top and one transverse lunge per side. <laughs> Had a hard time coming back up from that one. I put cardio at the front for two reasons. One, great way to start so that the body is for sure, for certain, warm. Two, my least favorite. So I'm one of those people that's like, just get it done with so that you can get onto the things you, you look forward to, <laughs> right? So if that's you, well, we are almost done with our cardio section. High and low fives. Here we go, feet wide apart. High, high, low, low, high. Legs straight, legs bent. Legs straight, legs bent. Envision these four people, right? Who are they? You just had some holiday time with probably some exciting folks in your family or friends. So how can they be incorporated in your motivation to move well? Yeah, I know for me, I just feel proud of myself when I'm showing maybe a younger family member how to feel good in my body. This is three, two, that's your time. Okay, so we're gonna back it up. Option, big broad jump forward, feet come together and I zigzag my way back. Other option, shuffle it forward, put those feet together, zigzag my way back. Showing this to you on the diagonal so you can see it. I shuffle my way forward, put those feet together, soften the knees and I zigzag my way back. Do it again, maybe this time it's the broad jump. I land lightly, I put my feet together, 
Just because it's cardio doesn't mean we have to rush every element. Take your moment, stick your landing, then move forward from there. 10 seconds. Whew. Working on those levels. Last one, big recovery here. That is your time. Now the good news, other than the fact I scared my cat, that wasn't good news. Good news is we're done. We can literally cross off cardio. Bad news. We are moving into our low body strength. You want to lay your mat out now if it isn't already laid out. You want to put your ankle weights on now because we're going to use them. We got time, so don't feel rushed. We still have 15 seconds. That's a lot of time. So put those ankle weights on. Mine are five pounds a piece. It doesn't mean you have to use five pound a piece ankle weights, but if you got them, use them. That's how you get strong. Alrighty. Alrighty, friends. We go in three. Mandy, what are we doing? You're gonna need a wall or some sort of something to hold on to. Two and one. It is a single-sided activity. I'm gonna hold my wall. I'm gonna take my right foot behind my left, lift, lift. It's a full minute on my one leg. I have a soft bend in my standing leg. I'm lifting my back leg, hip, knee, and ankle for the whole minute. Now listen, remember the leg you're on because the leg we're standing on is the leg we'll stay standing on for two movements in a row. Oh my gosh, if you start to feel this in your lumbar spine, hold your abdominal wall, pull it in. Oh my gosh. I'm leaning my upper body slightly forward. Last one. Turn to the front. You do not need a balance element. Arms come out to the sides, lift the knee. Kick the leg, release. Oh my gosh. I'm not meaning to lean to the side. Lift my knee, kick my foot and return. Lift my knee, kick my foot and return. Now, if I wanna make this harder, maybe halfway through, I'm gonna start to lift that leg straight, showing this to you from the side. Lift my leg straight and release. 30 more seconds, you can land your foot. We're working quadricep here. We're working stability. This whole side of my body is starting to say not quite nice things, right? So my hands could be on my hips. I could brace my low back. Good news, I won't have to do this leg again. Once it's done in set one, we do set two. Good, this is three, two. Now we come down to the floor. Both legs lift out and lift up. Both legs, so it's a combo move. Out in hydrant, up for the kick. Out in hydrant, so something that is alternating and then turns out to be symmetrical or halfway there. We're finishing our low body strength on our back for some bridging. Now, the bridges will keep the ankle weights on for obvious reasons, and we'll add our 12 pounders or our weights. I'm sweating, okay, so there's that. Last few seconds, we're gonna come on to our back. Go ahead and swing onto the hips. Grab your two dumbbells. Place them on your hips here. I'm realizing everything is dark. My ankle weights, my weights, my outfit, everything. So don't worry about it. Just focus on the glute squeeze at the top. Heels down, toes up. I'm spreading my toes out. 
to emphasize the power into the heels of my feet. <sighs> Setting my spine down one vertebrae at a time, and I think my arm might be in the way, you might not be able to see that. But just imagine like you're setting a bike chain link down onto a table. That chain link is coming down one at a time. All right, finish this out. You've got time for one more bridge. And then we're gonna set up for the second side. So go ahead and rock your way up to sit. Take those weights, put them back in their original spot. Now, I am horrible at remembering my side, so I know I did this side because I faced this direction. So this next time, maybe I hold the wall and I go for this side, right? I don't wanna lock this knee out. This knee has to have a little bit of a bend in it. I am gonna lean forward. Here we go, lift. I'm extending the knee but I'm not locking it as I lift this back leg in this figure four <sighs> hydranty type movement. So we're really getting, we're, we're cooking them cupcakes. Okay, we're baking them at 350. <sighs> you know what's funny is I can't really bake in my oven because it's from 1938 and it does not read the correct temperatures. Um, and you know, baking has to be a little, like, a little more exact than cooking. So I can cook, but you want me to make some cookies, I can't guarantee they're gonna be exactly right. Oh, why is she talking about cookies while we're working out? It's rude. Last one. Stand to face, arms out. Right, so last time I bent my knee, I kicked my heel, and I returned for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do this on the side too. Lift, kick, and return. Lift, kick, and return. From the side, so you can see my profile here. I lift my knee, I kick my heel forward, I let that heel graze the floor. I lift, I kick, and I graze the floor. Hands could brace the low back, lift, Kick and graze. Okay, taking that lift out, just lifting straight up and down. Straight up and down. I'm trying not to lean in the left, but I'm looking at myself going, girl, you're leaning on the left. Right? Holidays. They'll do all kinds of crazy things to the progress and consistency that perhaps you built in, say, October. <laughs> yeah. Last one, and then come on down to the mat again. We're back in the hydrant, so it's gonna go out, out, up, up. I don't know if that was an animal, like an insect, or if that was just some sort of brown fuzz. Um, I'll tell you a little something. I got two cats, you guys know. They, they're maimers, they're not murderers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I don't love it. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a do no harm kind of gal. Um, but I can't control what they're doing when I'm not watching them. So, RIP. I'm not sure it was an animal. I'm not sure it was an insect. So, for what that's worth. Last one. Come on down to your back. We grab those dumbbells again. Hip ridge. I'm not making it uber hard to remember because the effort itself should be somewhat of a challenge for you. This is our strength set. So we're working on building gluteal strength hamstring strength, quad strength. We got a little bit of the outer and inner thigh, but it was mainly working those major groups. <sighs> yeah, push. Oh my gosh. I love low body strength. It's probably my favorite thing in this circuit. <laughs> So I'm realizing upper body strength is next. 
Where? But I know it's good for me. This is last bridge. Cool beans. Okay. We're going to set those weights down. You can leave your mat out because our upper body strength includes, yes, push-ups. I'm not sorry. I, I, I'm not sorry. I know my push-ups game could be better, so I threw them in here because that's what makes me better. Now, if you're not a push-ups person, do them at your knees. Right? Okay, so let's talk about what we're up to in the first effort. You will need your resistance too with the handles. Okay? If you don't have that, you could pretend row. You could, you could do a regular cardio row with light weights. So let's go ahead and set that off to the side. We're starting our upper body strength with the push-up. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. High plank position, one push up, wide grip. Then I'm sinking back into a nice down dog and I'm gonna do a, another push up. So I slide to plank, one wide grip press. I slide to down dog, one down dog press. So I'm doing two different push motions, one in my plank and one in my down dog. My elbows bend out and back for both efforts. Mandy, I need to lower the knees. So I could lower my knees here and do my push up. I could lower my knees here and do my push up, okay? Give me one more time. So I shift to plank, push, I shift to down dog and I push. Slide onto the knees, grab your band. Band goes across the bottom of the feet, loop it around the top of the feet and pull it towards your face. And I do my row. My row is a medial grip row, palms face in. What I love about combining my push up with my row, is that they're the exact opposite effort. And it gets me off my hands. So there's that. Now, we're gonna do two banded activities in a row, and then we're gonna pick up those fives. So my fives are right back here in the corner, but I'm gonna come into a seated position of choice. For me, that's probably gonna be on my shins. It's my favorite seated position. You could sit cross-legged, okay? We're gonna emphasize the triceps. Last two rows here. And now I unwind the band. I hold the band with my hands and I slide onto a seated position. I'm gonna bend my elbows so that I've got tension on the band and then pull my arms apart. What? Bend in so there's a little bit of slack and push out. Bend in and push out. Now what's difficult about this <laughs> is there's a lot more tension, not just on the way outward, but I'm getting tension on the way back. That's what makes the resistance band an interesting piece of equipment and a little different than just holding weights. Now, for example, if I only had weights, I would do, instead of that banded pull apart, an overhead triceps extension, personally. All right, so now we're gonna come to a high kneel position. Last effort is the box. I bring it up, I draw it out, I come down. I go reverse now. I bring it up, I bring it in, and back down. Just realize these weights are all so dark. <laughs> up, out and down, up, in and down. So I'm basically drawing this little box. I'm trying to spend as much time as I can in the rep than in the rest, right? So what I'm trying to do is once my fingertips touch my thighs, I'm back up and out or I'm back up. Oh my gosh, my shoulders are burning. In. 
Oh. And finish line here. Set the dumbbells down. What did I forget? Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm in recovery. I didn't forget anything. I'm looking at it going, what did I forget? Uh, nothing. You forgot nothing. Okay, so we're going back to the top. I've got two different types of push-ups. Wide grip in my plank, wide grip in my down dog. One is an overhead push, and the other one is a straight horizontal adduction push, which is a traditional push-up. Okay, traditional, not traditionals. All right, take your band off your mat if it's on there. Timer begins. I'm gonna start in my down dog, bring my feet as wide as my mat. That's gonna give me optimal stability. Bend and extend the elbows, shift to plank, bend and extend again. Careful you're not locking any joints. I'm talking mainly about the knees. I could always bend my knees as much as I wanted to in both efforts. I could lower my knees. So say for example, I feel really good in my overhead but I wanna work on the depth of my traditional. Drop to the knees. You're gonna get more range of motion with less weight to push, right? So if I drop my knees, I take a lot of the weight out of the equation because my lower body is now supported by my knees. You got time for one more. Finish with the traditional push-up. Flip over onto your seat, grab the band. We got that medial grip row. I'm actually gonna back up so you can see how I set my band up. It comes along the bottom of my feet. I slide it up and around, and now I've got a really secured seated position, and I pull. Now, because we got started a little bit late, I'm gonna make you work an additional 20 seconds, because we literally got started when I looked at the timer. I still had 38 seconds left in my minute. Wait a minute. So, I'm not sorry. I'm just telling you, because I think it's nice to know what's happening. Why am I here? What am I doing? I'm a big proponent of explaining the why. That's why I talk a lot. But I'm not just talking to hear myself talk. I'm actually helping, I, I hope, helping demystify some things. Like for example, seeing it profile, you know my back is flat, but seeing it head on, frontal, you know the setup of the feet now. That is time on the rows, but we keep the band. I'm gonna sit however I see fit. For me, I love the shins. Like the band, I like the band as well. I pull it apart, I let it come back together. Pull it apart, back together. Pull it apart. Coming close to you, so you can see my back muscles here, I'm working the triceps, but I'm also working the shoulder depression and retraction along with it. So you're welcome. We've got 20 more seconds to go. I'm gonna show this to you because I think it's helpful. If I wanted to change the game, I could do it with weights. Feels a lot different but at least it's the same activity. It could also be an overhead triceps extension. If the overhead's not working, I could do a traditional triceps kickback. That is your time. Bring the weights into the equation if you don't have them yet. My weights come out, in, and down. Up, out, and down. Let's talk about the breath work. Inhale, prepare, exhale, push. Inhale, pull it in. Oh, I thought I was bending my elbows. Exhale out. Oh, I messed that up. Let me try it again. <laughs> Exhale, lift. Inhale through the center. Exhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale out. Exhale down. 20 more seconds. Lateral raise to the front and down. Front raise to the sides and down. This is your last one. Out forward and down and finish line up out and down that is your upper body strength now in your final block of work the only thing needed 
is your will to move and your map. So if you've got that, great. If you need to pause this video and do it at a later time, that's cool too, right? Or fast forward to the stretch, because as I was mentioning in last week's video, I'm gonna be better about giving the whole stretch. So yes, the stretch will be four minutes, 15 seconds in length. Let's talk about our core work, Mandy. Excellent choice. We're starting standing in a triangle pose. Remember the side you do because you will not do the side again. We're only doing one. So, arms out, legs straight. Shift into my triangle pose and my arm is suspended down here. I'm going to lift this arm up, meet it, and then fan them open. Lift, meet, and fan. What I'm trying not to do is cave my chest forward. I'm keeping it flush to you. Lift, meet, and open. Lift, meet, and open. If you can get a little bit lower here, lift, meet, and open back out. Lift, meet, and open. I'm feeling so much work through the side of my body facing the sky. You've got just a few more seconds on this side. We'll only do this side. We're moving on and the next round we'll do the other side, okay? So stand yourself up. Meet me in a high plank. I know we were just in high plank. I'm sorry. I'm going to go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shin tap, shin tap, back to high plank. Tap, tap, back to down dog, cross tap, cross tap. What I'm trying not to do is rock my body. So if I am rocking my body, I may want to bring my hands and my feet further apart. Shift to plank, tap, tap, shift back up tap and tap. I haven't been talking about which arm's supposed to tap first because frankly, just do the tapping. Do your best. In the next round, we can play with working on coordinating. All right, come on down to the forearm, either side. I'm gonna come down to this side. Side plank, full minute, one side. This is the only static hold in the entire workout. Meaning my top foot and my bottom foot have stacked. I've got a straight line. I'm lifting those hips up. Good news, 30 seconds. Top arm could hold the back of the head, hip, or just reach overhead perhaps. You can do it, I'm doing my best too. I could always lower that bottom knee, right? Five, four, three, it's going by like molasses, two, and one. Set that hip down. Exercise number four. Lower down to a half boat. I'm holding. Now, here's the deal, it's not a full static hold. I'm gonna circle up, grab for the shins and lift my body. Then I circle back down, I feel like I'm writing an email here, and then I circle back, and, and my cat is totally circling around me. That was not a planned or rehearsed activity, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it, Asia. Okay, thank you for the tail. I think that's very helpful. So see how I'm spending about five to seven seconds in each of these holds? That's the goal. Excuse me, I'm bringing it back now. As much as I want your butt in my face, I don't. And that's your time. Okay, so good news. We've done them all. 
You know what's coming. There's no surprises here. We're gonna get into that last core challenge. Two single-sided movements. We start single-sided standing. So last time, I went towards this side. I'm pretty sure, but I feel pretty confident that that's the truth. I'm now gonna shift my weight. I'm gonna find my triangle pose. Timer's on now. Bottom arm, top arm, release. Bottom arm, top arm, release. Mandy, if it's bothering my back, what else can I do? You're gonna soften this knee, and then you're gonna slide this palm behind you and focus on the openness through the side body. I could just hold this side bend, essentially, right? If your neck is bothering you, I like to look down at my foot. And then finally, if you're feeling good, I start to straight that leg again, I could take my arms up. Open, return, lift, release. So I had to send my chest cavity flush, lift, lift and return so close lift lift return you got time for one more lift lift return meet me in plank high plank position shoulder taps so i had to just adjust my feet there down dog twist taps this is actually in my humble opinion and i'm very humble about it because plank. This is actually one of my easier, at least for me, core challenges. Now I don't have any wrist issues. So if you've got wrist stuff, you may want to come down to the forearms and do the same activity. This could look like this. Ha, back to plank. I shift to down dog. I skip the taps. I shift to plank. I skip the taps. In other words, work it for you, right? If the hands aren't working, come to the forearms. This is three, two, and that's the time. Now I'm on the opposing forearm. I did the other forearm last time. This is the only static hold. I just hold my side plank. I never said it was going to be easy modification if I needed it. I could stagger my feet. I could lower my bottom knee, right? I haven't talked about how to make it harder, but here's a way you could do that. I stack my feet. I perhaps float that top foot. Now what's important and it's difficult maybe to see is that this bottom hip isn't dropping towards the floor though. I'm maintaining a nice neutral spine in this side plank position. 10 seconds, that's all. Breathe in, flex those feet for three, two, lower down to your back. We're starting in the low boat. I reach and I don't have my assistant now, so maybe it'll be a little easier. And I hold my legs. Now, if I wanted to make it harder, I lower it down. I don't touch my legs. I find my teaser. I roll it down. I find my teaser. Mandy, my legs being straight, that's really hard on my flexors or my low back. I got you. You're going to hold the backs of your knees. Roll yourself up and lift your chest. Roll yourself down, hold the backs of the knees. Roll yourself up, pull the chest through the biceps. Maybe even try to extend the legs with the grip behind the thighs. Finish line in three, two, and that is your timing. That's your workout. Just take a moment on your back. We're not racing into this stretch. Just do a quick scan. How are you feeling now versus the beginning of the workout? I know before I started working out today, I was like having the moment of just scary. So I was like, I don't wanna do it. I just, uh, you, even I can talk myself out of a workout. You know what I mean? So if I can do it, you can too. So let's bring our knees into our chest. Oh, I love 
be a happy baby and if you want to take your shoes off that might feel nice um once you've got your shoes off perhaps you grab the outer edges of the feet and just allow for your sacrum to fold down into the mat so it's just the flat fused bone in the back of the body the very bottom of the spine that i'm pressing down on then i'm going to stamp down through both of my feet take my arms next to my hips lift my shoulder, excuse me, lift my hips up and crawl my shoulders underneath me. This is stretching the front of my chest. And then maybe I clasp my hands behind me and I encourage those shoulders a little closer to one another to stretch more of my chest. A lot of push-ups. I did my front raises, lateral raises, all that stuff. So I'm going to release the clasp of my hands, lower the hips, slide the right leg long. Pull the left knee into the chest, ankle circles on the left. Just go around and back. And then we'll take that left foot, bring it across the mat, bring it into a supine twist. So I'm looking over the shoulder head of the leg that's crossed over my head. And then I return through the center, open that hip out with the encouragement of my hand wrapping around my shin and the bottom of my knee. Good. Take the other leg into the chest. Readjust the hips if you would need to. Hug in tight. What I love about a single leg knee in is it's a really good low back release. And just give yourself a nice little ankle circle from right to left and up and down. Cool. And then we're going to take that leg and cross it over the hip. Find your goal post position. Let's take these shoes off of the frame. So what I'm trying to do here in my twist is create a little bit more weight along the back, back of the shoulder here facing us. Okay. Bring it back through the center. Hug both knees in. Rock your way up to sit. Slide your legs long and just give your spine a nice little dome. So this is also a hamstring stretch for me. And if reaching your toes is like a goal and you're not there yet, grab for the backs of the thighs or the shins, calves, whatever feels good. Slowly roll your way up. Sit with your legs um, butterfly. So the toes are together, heels are together, and fold over the legs. If you're new to me, you'll find out. This stretch is one of my top. Um, I also struggle in it, so I do it a lot because it helps me get into that groin group. So now from here, go ahead and sit however you feel comfortable. I'll sit and face you in a cross-legged position. Working in the triceps, I'm going to feel this nice little tricep stretch with my hand behind my head. Now if with the arms overhead, if it feels really uncomfortable, you could come into a all fours position and find a prayer position with the palms behind the nape of the neck. Um, we'll not do that today. Go ahead and sit tall. Tuck the chin to the chest, nod the ear over to one shoulder, and then over to the other shoulder. Come back through the center, roll your neck back up to sit nice and tall. Just take a moment, close the eyes, do it again. Just do that scan from the crown of the head all the way down to the heels of the feet and toes. Gently open the eyes, bring your hands to your heart. Excellent job. Get at me in 2023 and be on what you want to see on the platform. And of course, I'm available 24 seven on Patreon. So if you have a message you want to send to me, just send it to me right through the platform or through my email. You know my email. All right. Have such a wonderful rest of your week ahead. Happy January, happy 2023, and I will see you soon. Peace.